Hey, this is Jay Donovan from TechCrunch. I'm here at uh, the Inside AR conference in Munich, and I'm here with Clark Deaver from Vuzix, and we have the something I've been trying to get my hands on for weeks now. This is the the uh, Star 1200 uh, see-through um, glasses. I'm not going to try to explain it. Clark, just go ahead and tell me uh, tell me what it is. Yeah, Jay. So uh, this is the Star 1200. It's our uh, production model see-through augmented reality display. Um, so it's available uh, now on our website at vuzix.com slash AR. It's about $5,000. Uh, it's, it's targeted really at the uh, advanced research and development community. Um, the idea being that you need content to support an ecosystem for a consumer uh, version of this, but the consumer version is on the way. So uh, uh, let me give you the details. It's a basically LCD display using a beam splitter. Uh, and that allows you to pass some light uh, from your ambient surroundings into your eye, which allows you to see, but it also allows us to project um, computer-generated data in, into your eye as well. So it allows you to overlay the, um, your world with the data that you need. So you can think of it like Google Maps. Uh, you're walking down the street, and instead of looking at your phone every two minutes, you have a nice little arrow that tells you you're heading the right direction. Or you could be walking through a conference and your computer or your, your Android phone in your pocket or your iPhone uh, could be looking at all the faces of the people that you're seeing and identify people from media outlets or the CEO that you need to talk to about a business deal, that sort of thing. Right, so that's what you were telling me, like, this, we, we were joking about it that it's kind of like, this is, that these are your superhero glasses, right? They will let you see things that other people can't see. But, but what you're saying is it could be it could be information like uh, heat, heat, or it could be what all kind you know all kinds of information, right? Yeah, Jay. So exactly, it's uh, it's a very modular design. Uh, you can pull the optics out, mount them in whatever configuration you want. You know, maybe a, a visor or a helmet. Um, and the camera, you can choose your camera. We have people who use uh, infrared, people who use uh, microwave, and then you know your traditional uh, visible spectrum cameras. So. All those aid in you know, computer vision, and you can mash that data up with uh, a head tracker that we have that plugs in. Uh, it's a six degree of freedom head tracker, and it retails for 100 bucks, and it allows you to tell your phone uh, wh which way you're looking, which way you're heading. Um, so it's, it's nice. All right, here we go. The movie. All right, so, so Jay, what you're seeing is uh, predator vision. You know, I was always a fan of the movie, and working at Music, you know, we get advanced uh, access to the technology before it's released to the public. So the first thing I had to do, I wrote this little sketch of processing uh, that takes the brightness of the pixels and it assigns them a hue based on how bright they are, you know. And with our thermal cameras at work, it actually is, you know, predator vision. I can, I can hunt people in the dark uh, with these glasses. All right, give us your best Arnold. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! <laughs> All right, let me see. Okay, so we're actually, I'm going to come out here. We're actually looking through... The, the glasses here, and you can see that there's an area in there where it's overlaying this uh, this information. But we're actually looking through this clear lens. It's not like it's a an LCD screen we're looking at. We're just looking straight through, and it's it's uh, reflecting it onto it or something, right? Yeah, that's correct. Cool.